Thursday things we're making Thursday things we're making Thursday yeah Hi everybody, my name is Shannon and welcome to my channel, Another Yarn. Thank you so much for joining me today. I greatly appreciate it. While you're here, please take a moment and like and subscribe. That lets me know that you enjoy what you're watching and I can continue to do that. There you go, that's easy. It doesn't cost a thing, it's easy. So today's Thursday. You can tell by the jingle, things we're making Thursday. And if you can't get that jingle out of your head, you can thank Jess from J Hook Magic. Her and her husband came up with a jingle and we sound very professional because we have a jingle. The jingle pretty much says everything. This is a collaboration between multiple YouTube creators and individuals can join in. You don't have to be a creator, just like the jingle says. If you wanna join in what we're making each month, feel free to. All the patterns are linked down below in my description box. Also, you can look at all the other designers, or designers, yeah, just some of them are really designers. All the other YouTube content creators listed down below that are part of this. And you can click on their channel and see what their take is on our project. Or another way you can do it is just peruse the Facebook page. That's right, there's a Facebook page. Over 200 uh, participants on that. And you can post your own pictures there. And at the end of the month, Heather from Strings and Threads she gathers up all the pictures from the participants each month and puts together this wonderful slideshow that shows our creative abilities and talents. And I absolutely love it. This month, we're making pumpkins. It seems kind of appropriate, right? You know, Halloween coming along, whether you celebrate Halloween or not, it is the autumn season and gourds are everywhere, right? You've got all the butternut squash, you've got all the other things and pumpkins. Yeah, it's gourds, right? You know, so we've got that going on, making pumpkins. So I've got a pattern that listed down below and it is a free pattern from Yarn Inspirations, And that's the one that the majority are making, but we might be kind of like, I like to call it going off script and making a few others. And there's another pattern where we have one of our very own YouTube creators, uh, Crystal from Hook That Yarn, she has a reversible pumpkin, you know, so you kind of reverse it back and forth and everything and put the face on and that's linked down below too. Lots of options. Well, I went and was looking at different patterns on Yarn Inspiration because that's where we get a lot of our things. Again, they're free patterns and started making a pumpkin last week and I didn't get any farther. I was busy doing everything else. This is what I had. Ooh, it matches my shirt. Oh my goodness, look at that. Wow, a little bit bigger and I could just wear this one, right? It's not quite a hat. I mean, it could be for like a little people. And that's what I was deciding. Do I want to put a stem on this and make this as a hat for my granddaughter? I do have my youngest granddaughter, grandchild is one years old. And I think this would fit her really nicely. And I think it'd be cute. So haven't really decided yet if I wanna finish this off as a pumpkin or not. I picked this pattern, it's crocheted. You can see, look at that. So you're doing the front post, double, uh, front post doubles and front post triples, triple or treble, depending on where you're from, on what you call it, here to create that cable. And I think that's really nice. Uh, I like this one. This was the smallest one of that particular pattern set. It's not really small. Um, it's cute. It's adorable. But again, I'm not sure if I want to put it as a hat, leave it the way it is, or finish it off as a pumpkin. I got sidetracked. I got, I got, I got sidetracked. I did. I don't know if you saw these. I jumped into the, look at that. I jumped into the little pumpkin foray. These are cute little pumpkins. Look how tiny that is. Look at that. That right there, both of these, worsted weight yarn. And to include the lid, four rounds. That's it. Three rounds for the pumpkin. How cool is that? And then the little lid and a stem. So fast, so easy. I do have a tutorial on these. This one's mine. I just, I, I decided I'd share something that I've been making for a lot of years. I, I've made these, I've given away, I've sold them. You know, hold on yours. So I thought I'd share this. The tutorial is 10 minutes from start to finish and that's explaining things to include me weaving in the ends. Like I said, four rounds, super fast, super easy. Those are chocolate covered cherries. The, Ferrar the Ferrero Rocher would also fit in there. You know, that type of a thing. And you can also put Hershey's Kisses, anything you want in there. So I'll have this one linked down below because it still fits the theme of a pumpkin. 
and they're really, really cute. So lots and lots of different things. So then the other thing, if you were on last week, we were talking back and forth on doing pumpkins with all the different colors. You know, the modern colors. And I talked about, I want to make a teal pumpkin. And I kind of, I kind of chastised myself a little bit. Uh, not, not because I said that that's, that's not it. I chastised myself a little bit. I was at uh, the Dollar Tree the other day and in the, you know, they have the section that's three and five dollars. And not that I wanted to buy it, but I should have taken a picture of it. Kid you not, they had, they were velour, like a velvety type feeling, pumpkins, teal. That's right, Amanda. I don't know, Amanda from Tap Mama and the Beg Brigade, favorite color is teal. Oh, and she beat me to the teal pumpkin. She says she had the idea before me. She might have, I don't know. But she did make hers before me, that is no doubt. And she tagged me in it to make sure I knew that she beat me to the teal pumpkin. This is the nice friendly banter that you get back and forth between content creators. I thought it was absolutely wonderful. Amanda, hats off to you. You definitely made it. You definitely beat me. So no problem. I thought that was really cute. But I'm still wanting to do the teal pumpkin. I mean, hers was really, really cute. And I've got, I've got sparkle teal. I've got all sorts of other colors. And then I was also, you know, because we like to tease each other. I was teasing Erin from Crafting Kitty and talking about, hey, you know, there's Fair Isle pumpkins. You really want to go down that road. She's like, no, I don't. Yes, I do. No, I don't. Yes, I do. Right. We all know that fight. So here, this one is Knit Equals Joy Designs. I will post this down below. These are paid patterns. Oh, my gosh. These are amazing. Look at the plaid pumpkin just gorgeous. This one, you've got the big spiders. This one, you can't see the design in this picture very much, but it's like a, a floral type design. You can knit in the pumpkin face. Here's all the gorgeous cables. And I love the stem treatment on this. This one's fun. And then you've got a black widow spider right there. And then you've got the smaller pumpkins down here, right? This one's Art Nouveau design. You've got the spiders and this one says boo. So you've got multiple different things. And the small one, you get all three of those designs. It's $5 on there. So I don't get any money for it. I have the pattern. I paid for the pattern myself. I thought it was cute. So I thought I would share. So yes, there are color work pumpkins. Yes, there are Fair Isle pumpkins. So in the spirit of that, I decided I wanted to start one, you know, because... I didn't finish last week. So of course I want to start something else. That's why I have so many projects. It is, it really is. So, you know, I'm looking at everything in and I had yarn sitting next to me. I should have gotten up and grabbed the teal yarn or yes, you know, that's whatever, best plans. But I did start something and I started the color work. Oh yes, I did. Want to see this? I mean, this is so pretty. Look at this. Look. So I got both both um, Aaron and Amanda on this one. Look at this color work. I've got the blue, right? This one's, um, what is this? This is, I decided to use my, oh, this is Sapphire, big twist Sapphire. This is uh, um, acrylic yarn, easy care, whole nine yards. It was sitting next to me. And I thought for color work, that would work. My teal sparkle. I didn't have another one that was equal to it that I wanted to do. I like those. I, I like that color pop. I like the, um, they call this one, I think Art Nouveau. That's the color work design on this. I am over halfway done with the color work portion of this. And they'll, you know, put the stem on up here and everything. But isn't that cute? I'm using four double pointed needles. Now, this one's a, a, a circular, but I've got four double pointed needles. And then, you know, this is the fifth one working all the way around. Um, I would like to use just my circulars, but it's just a little too tight to be comfortable on my 16 inch circulars. Um, I don't think I have any nine or 12 inch circulars around in, in uh, that size. I've got some in the smaller, yarn, yarn, uh, smaller needles, but they kind of hurt my hands. So I'm just continuing it with what I have. Isn't that pretty? So I love the way that that's going up, that that the center of the leaf right there in the design. Yeah, that is really, really pretty. So having fun with that, let me pull that up again. 
so you can see. Oh, let's make it a little bit bigger. There you go. That, and I'll have those linked down below if you are interested. Again, I don't get anything for them except for, you know, I bought it, paid for it myself, and I thought you might enjoy it. So all of those come with it. Um, this particular one has the three different chart designs. It's $5. You have the more than one version of that spider if, it, if you like the spider. Oh, and mine did. I don't know if this one does, but I have this pattern too. Mine also came with more like the Black Widow or at least how to put the color work in there for a Black Widow spider if that's what you wanted to do. So I thought that was a lot of fun. Um, you know, might as well make them and enjoy them. For the large, let me see if I've got some colors on that that are a little bit better. For that large color work pumpkin, that's one of your options. I think that's a little bit better picture. I do own this one also. And I love the way that they do the stem. Look at that. Isn't that cool? The buttons and everything on there, I just thought those were really the neatest things. And I went, you know, after we started talking about it, I had to go checking them out and looking at all my stuffs. But you can see here, this is a little bigger picture. I like this one down here. This one reminds me of uh, uh, Nightmare, not Nightmare on Elm Street, which that Jack Skeleton, oh my gosh, it's gonna drive me nuts. You're probably telling me what it is. But that's what that one reminds me of down there. Typical pumpkin right here. You've got the multiple different ways of doing the spiders. I like the checkerboard up top. I mean, how cool is that? That's not your traditional pumpkins, but there you go. I have those. And then looking at this again, I don't have that particular cabled pumpkin. I probably need it. I, prob I probably do. I mean, right? Yeah. I don't have that one. I have a lot of her pumpkins. I do. <laughs> Evidently, I like them because they're in my library. <laughs> <laughs> those are my downloaded patterns. Those are things that I have bought and paid for. Those are mine. So I thought you might enjoy that as just different ways to look at some of the pumpkins. Yeah, there we go. Just different ways that you can do pumpkins, pumpkin designs, staying in with the, the gourd theme, right? And I had my little critter, you know, speaking of the gourd theme. I made this one last week and it's you know, kind of a cross between uh, a butternut squash. I've heard butternut squash. I've heard, um, to me, like a little carrot top head, uh, you know, something along that line. So definitely I have that gourd season on the brain. You know, let's, let's make butternut squash. There you go. Let's make fun stuff. I've just been having so much fun doing all this. This right here just absolutely tickles me. I, I mean, that is just... How can you not be happy with those bright colors, the unusual? And again, evidently, it's the end thing. I mean, the dollar store is selling velour teal pumpkins, gray and teal. So if you don't want to craft them yourself, you don't want to make them yourself, you can get them if your dollar store has those types of things. I know it's $1.25 and those are $5, but still. There you go. So that is my fun stuff right here. <laughs> That's what I've been working on instead of what I'm supposed to. I mean, this is crafting. It's fun. It's what we do. I'll, I got up late. Oh my gosh. I, I should have been asleep. It was past my bedtime. I was already in bed. And then I woke up like 10 something because I go to bed early because I get up early, right? At 10 something, I woke up about 10 20. And, uh, I decided I'd do something. So it came in my yarn room. <laughs> like, if I would have had the yarn I was thinking about wound, well, I would have started a shawl last night or the night before, what night, whatever. You know, I would have started a shawl. I really would have. I didn't get to bed until after midnight and getting up too doggone early, going to bed after midnight is not a good thing. Uh, but it's my yarn room. It's fun. This is, this is you know, if you can't sleep, I don't have insomnia problems. So that's not a, that's not a common thing. That's kind of a rare thing for me. Uh, but, you know, if you're going to get up anyway, you might as well go play with your yarn, right? You might as well go enjoy yourself. So, again, more reasons as to why I have so many projects because it's fun. Should I finish this? It's not giving me joy. <laughs> it's just not. It's, 
there's nothing wrong with it. It's beautiful. But I moved on. And 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 that is exciting. And this is not to me. <laughs> should should I finish it anyway? I mean, it's cute. I don't know. Let me know. Give me some comments. I love talking to everyone. Tell me down below, should I finish that? Should I continue on? Should I keep it, give it away, turn it into a hat, turn it, leave it as the pumpkin? I don't know. The hat, it can be done sooner. The pumpkin, I'm using stuffing, right? I mean, there is that. That's the only difference, right? And this, this is going to get finished. This is so doggone cute. All right, everybody. Tell me what you did. Are you making any pumpkins? Are you doing anything for the gourds? You know, doing, working on the, all the different gourd season, right? Are you doing anything like that? I'd like to know. All right, everybody. You have a great day night, evening, whatever it happens to be. Bye-bye.